What's up Capricorn? This is going to be your love forecast for the first half of May. This is for my Cappy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. Let's get started Spirit. What's coming in please for my Cappy, Cappy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love first two weeks of May. Any love messages for Cappy? Cappy, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. First two weeks of May. Eight of Cups, Capricorn. What are you leaving behind? <laughs> walking away, walking away from something. Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Yep. The Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups. Oh, Capricorn. So we've got a situation here where there's a lot of looking back. There's a lot of looking back at the spilt cups, the things that haven't gone quite right. Um, you know, more focused on the things that have gone wrong than the opportunity here for a Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a relationship, soul connection. Now, funny because I have the Two of Cups in the main spread. So I do feel there is opportunity here to have some kind of a relationship. It's a soulmate, um, but there is a lot of confusion. Okay, Seven of Cups. Maybe there's confusion because of the past Capricorn. I feel there would have been a situation um, for you Capricorn with someone um, that's been very in and out. Knight of Wands, maybe you were dealing with a bit of a player or someone that, wouldn't, that just didn't choose you because the Seven of Cups is, you know, confusion, often other choices or options. Um, but Capricorn, I do feel like you're having a bit of a breakthrough here because you're realizing now um, that whilst maybe someone hasn't chosen you, it's like you're choosing you, okay? And Ace of Swords, this is about breakthroughs, this is about personal power, this is about truth. Now, I also feel with the Ace of Swords um, and the Seven of Cups, it's like you're coming out of confusion and you're getting very clear. Now, it could be Capricorn that you do have another opportunity that is very aligned with your truth, Ace of Swords, someone that does recognize you and wants to choose you. They're seeing you for the Two of Cups, but for a little while you've been maybe too stuck in this, like looking back, looking back at another maybe situation which didn't work out, or maybe a number of situations that didn't work out. Now tell me about the Seven of Cups. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. So Capricorn, it's like there's a situation which you've laid the groundwork on that hasn't come to its full potential, um, but you're confused about it. Or someone um, hasn't sort of, it hasn't developed because maybe they're keeping you as an option. Seven of Cups, sorry to say. But as I said, I think that there's something else in front of you, but you need to stand your ground. Seven of Wands, okay, Capricorn is in. You need to decide what's going to be right for you. The Moon card is here. So the Moon card is all about things that haven't been revealed yet. So there's some situation I feel, Capricorn, maybe where you, you know, someone's had you hanging on, but they haven't kind of let on um, the truth of the matter. Let's see, Two of Swords. It's like the blindfold's been kept on and you've been feeling like it's very stuck, but you have no sense of clarity on why or where it's going or um, how to move forward, okay? Now, tell me about this Ace of Swords because this is the clarity. Chariot card, moving forward. And Two of Wands, and you have a decision to make Capricorn, like hold on or move towards new opportunity, which either is already presenting to you now or is like imminent to a one. So do I move forward in a new direction or do I kind of sit around and wait? Seven of Pentacles, sit around and wait um, to get the clarity from this person. Nine of Pentacles and what you're choosing Capricorn is you're choosing you. Nine of Pentacles is independence. It's, um, you know, maybe making yourself very single and available. Um, Focus on your money, here we go, Three of Swords, and maybe cutting ties with something that you feel is just not moving forward in the direction for you, in the right direction. Standing your ground, Seven of Wands. Now I've got a Knight of Cups here and Three of Swords can be third party situations. So I feel Capricorn, this could be you receiving an offer somewhere from someone with genuine emotion, someone that wants to be romantic with you, give you a cup of love. Um, and whilst you have heartache, maybe in leaving behind something else, um, you're feeling like you want to move towards something new. Okay, strength card is taking a lot of strength and courage, but you want to realign yourself now with the Ten of Cups, with your, with your ultimate um, emotional fulfillment, right? Planning for the long term. Let's get a little bit more actually on this um, person that you've kind of invested in. I just, I was going to say on the Knight of Wands and I split the deck and I got the Knight of Wands. So on this sort of 
in and out person. Seven of Swords, guys. I don't know about this this energy. Tell me about this uh, Knight of Wands spirit. What does Capricorn need to know? Okay, well, they have a lot of passion for you, Capricorn. Ace of Wands, Three of Swords, Knight of Swords. Okay, this person comes across as a bit reckless, Capricorn. Um, you know, perhaps they're impulsive, they kind of come in. Um, this is my sex card, Ace of Wands. They definitely desire you, but I feel like they leave you kind of heartbroken. I feel like there is heartbreak, maybe, um, you know, maybe they're aware that they sort of their behavior has led to heartache and has hurt you. You know, maybe you've already kind of separated from this person and there is heartache and separation, um, but you know, it's more a sense of like, you haven't completely let go or, you know, maybe they do come in and out. Um, so I've got the three of pentacles. Okay, so three cards. So I do feel like there's something maybe, there might be other parties in the mix, other influences here. Um, and the judgment card and the hanged man. So this person, Capricorn, it's like they're on pause. They know that they have to make some kind of a decision or maybe they, they didn't make a decision, they didn't choose you and that's what's led to separation or heartache. Um, tell me a little bit more about this Three of Swords. Yeah, Three of Wands. And maybe they're still in the process of separating themselves from something else um, and it's like they're waiting for an opportunity to move towards you properly. As I said, I think they have desire for you and they want to have um, a new start if you are in complete separation. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Okay, we've got double Seven of Wands. So maybe both of you are a bit standoffish here. And then I've got the Seven of Cups again and then I've got the High Priestess. So maybe both of you are a bit standoffish or maybe you stood your ground with them, as I said, Capricorn, and there's confusion now about how this person is going to come in and even you know, reignite the passion with you. Um, the high priestess, so things that have gone unsaid. For some of you, this person has been in and out and maybe you're in silence with this person. Um, yeah, silence and secrecy. So I do feel that this person, you know, um, hasn't fully expressed themselves to you, but timing, Capricorn, temperance energy. So this is the card of timing being a factor. For some of you, that could be because this person may have been involved elsewhere whether you know it or not, you know, the high priestess is intuition. Maybe they know you know that they haven't been entirely honest with you. As I said, that queen of swords, queen of swords is a card of truth and honesty. So it's like something needs to be revealed here. Um, but it's like, you know, timing. So maybe they're sort of waiting for the right time to come forward and be honest with you. Two of pentacles and the empress. So they could have kept you as an option in Capricorn. Maybe they know that you know that they were juggling more than one option here okay and that led to a lack of balance for some of you this person um, there could be marriage this is the the wife and the mother but even more so Capricorn I feel like they were juggling you and you're in this divine feminine energy I think that you're really growing and learning your worth and that's why you're deciding that you want to move on and move forward onto you know opportunities where you feel valued they're very attracted to you though Capricorn the Empress is divine feminine so very beautiful very attractive um, yeah, but new opportunity for you, Capricorn. Page of Cups, Two of, two of Wands. I feel like this person senses that you could be moving on. All right, Two of Wands. This is definitely at a crossroads. And um, I think that they're sort of kind of hanging. So I do feel this person will probably come back, Capricorn, and make an offer. But I just don't think you're waiting around anymore. You know what I'm saying? Okay, there could be distance between you and this person with the world card, so you could live at a distance. That could be a factor. They want to close out this old cycle, but I feel like they're not ready yet. So um, having said that, let's get you guys some romance angels. Romance angels, please, for Cappy. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Passion, and give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, and one more getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, Capricorn. Um, oh, and then I'll take codependency and reconciliation. Okay, now I'm done. So addictions are affecting your romantic life, codependency. So this person and you maybe, um, or maybe both of you, or maybe this person, this person has you know some codependent habits, patterns. Um, maybe they are in another situation, as I said, with sort of someone's codependent on them or vice versa. 
um, or addictions have been interfering with their life. Um, for you Capricorn, you're learning to um, break codependent patterns, right? So learning your worth, learning your value, um, learning equal give and take, right? Um, breaking old patterns of um, where you, there's fear of abandonment, etc. And then we've got reconciliation. So I think this person is coming in to reconcile because there is love here, Capricorn. That's probably why it's hard for you to move forward and there is passion. Um, but it's going to require work and this person needs to come in and, and do the work, okay? So I think you've done enough, Capricorn, and the lesson here has been love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and I think this is why you're coming across as very attractive because maybe you are standing your ground or you stood your ground, okay? And then I do feel like this person has a lot to reveal. Maybe this person sort of um, kept their true self from you. There could have been a lot of fears. We had the moon card before. A lot of fears, um, this person could have unhealthy habits in love and relationships, um, you know, and maybe this person uh, finds it difficult to kind of drop the mask and the ego, okay? All right, Capricorn, I hope that that resonated for you, and if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I'll check in with you in two weeks' time. Lots of love.